Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is Total War Warhammer. We're back with our Dwarven Let's Play with Torgrim Rutschbearer. In the last episode we actually went through a lot of the introduction and I think we're still in basically the intro tutorial kind of thing. And we have a grudge, kind of like a quest that we need to fulfill. These filthy greenskins over here. They just invaded our sacred mountains, and this cannot be allowed. These cannot stand, and we need to defeat them. That's what we're going to do. Study your options carefully. The enemy are close. Blood will be spilt. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Well, the pre-battle actions is pretty, pretty simple. We could either go and play the battle uh, manually on the battlefield. We could go for an auto resolve, or we could retreat. Um. Seeing that we are actually pretty likely to win we could go for an auto resolve but to be honest with you I I'd rather fight it on the battlefield I mean that, that's something that you I mean that that's basically what you want to do here that's the thing what's really cool that's the thing that's everybody wants to see I guess uh, we're going to use auto resolve in, in later stages of the game I think uh, mainly because Sometimes it's just not worth it. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They yep. await your orders. All right. So, looking at the terrain, we have kind of like a small crater here in the middle, which is rather bad because we're the attacking force, and I don't like that we have to move down and up again, seeing that they have some archers in the front of their their rows. That's their lord or their hero type. Ah, uh, yeah, I know about deployment. Alright, so we have our archers. How is that actually working? We have them outside of our deployment zone? That's weird. How is that even. Oh, that's pickaxe infantry. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do this. You hammers. Alright. What's your specialty? Come on. Ham infantry, pay little notice to armor, dealing massive amounts of damage regardless where they hit. Okay, so they are armor penetration types. Good, strength and weaknesses, armor piercing, armor damage dealers. They have 100 HP, so I guess you want them to be... I guess we're going to use them on the flanks. Right hand flank over here. It's fine. And they're going to be on two. My hero, of course, on one. Going to use all of our warriors on three. I think they're pretty much standard units. Frontline soldiers, hand to hand combat with their enemies. Good, good. They have a charge defense versus large. We have no large enemies. They have they are armored and shielded, that's good. So these are basically our bread and butter troops from the looks of it. Yep. So I guess we're going to use them as our main force to approach the enemies, so let's move them forward. Why can the miners be outside here? I think that's weird. Vanguard deployment. Oh, they can be deployed. Oh, weird. Why can't they do that? Is this a specialty? An ambushing force that can't... Oh... Oh, okay, okay. Banker deployment. Yeah, that's a skill. Arm piercing, good against gates. Armored. So if we can use them, can we deploy them anywhere? Or almost anywhere? I think we're going to use them on the flanks as well. Maybe on the maybe on the left flank. Uh, it looks like we have to move up a hill, though. We use them on this side. Mm, I like the right-hand deployment a little bit more, so let's move them over to here. They should be outside of their missile range. Oh yeah, we can see that actually. And let's move them forward a bit even more. Okay, so let's move them to four. Okay, and our ranged units, catapults. Okay, let's leave them kind of like there. It seems like a good plan. Move them back a bit and start the battle. Your 
ranged weapons may prove decisive in the coming battle. Oh yeah, they will, they will. They will. against the enemy from afar, but be sure to protect them as well. Nothing can stop us! We're going to move these guys a little bit more forward, and... Actually, it seems like they want to attack us. They move, they move on us. For whatever reason. I guess we're going to move our troops over there. Let's move the, these warriors kind of like in front. Uh, can you fire? Hmm, you don't really do it anymore. Okay, uh, let's go for a slower approach here. You two. We need to move. You move on this side. You move there. You move there. Good. Ranged units fire on their ranged units. These ranged units fire on their ranged units. You fire on them. And we're going to use our hero to charge their hero. We're going to use this. Like that. Well, where are they attacking my flank? I don't see that. Fire. Use the catapults to fire uh, these guys again. Our ranged units are moving s perfectly into their flank. Charge them. We're going to use our ranged units to change on them. Because they need help. Our lord is under attack, that's not too bad. We're going to... Oh, we have no, no skills anymore? That's weird, okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, actually, stop that. Fire at these guys, if you can. Going to attack them. Use everybody to attack their lord. Seems good. Might want to use our warriors, though, to charge their sides. How's this looking here at this against this lord? I mean, he's pretty much, he's, he's smashing us, he's smashing us, that's, that's something, but I guess we're fine here. We could group, halt, guard mode, not really what we want. Uh, you halt, I want to guard, fire at will, nah, we're not going to fire at will. And there we go, we won. His army will surely follow. Bring them down. Okay. End the battle, because I don't really want to follow everybody. You victorious! The corpses of the enemy litter the ground, and those still able to flee do so. With the laughter of our gods ringing in their ears. Nice. We end the battle. It's a decisive victory. It wasn't, wasn't too bad. I mean, we deployed a lot more units, and it seems like we had a better mixture of, of troops. I mean, the artillery was... Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? May it can freaking... be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality hmm. would be worth more. We could, we could release the captives. A grudge has been settled. The honorable thing to do is to allow the captives to leave. All right. We could get some more money. We get the release cap the switch. Okay, wait a second. Or we could kill the captives. We gain more leadership. Leave no grudge under. Yeah, sure. I mean they have freaking green skin, so gotta kill them. Freaking hell. The High King moves. All right, and we get a thousand gold for killing those bastards or winning this in battle. Good, I like it. Those that serve your cause gain experience over time, my lord. Be sure to guide their development to your advantage. Will do. So recent events have proven successful to your lord. And he has reached rank 2. I like it. Alright, how do I do that? The Groby maintain one of their slum camps beneath the pillars of Grumni. A sin that cannot remain in the Damas Kron any longer. Yeah, of the course not. must be returned to Dwarfen hands. Will do. So we got another quest or a grudge. 
observed with the disdain by Rugni and all his kin, the Bloody Spears maintain an encampment at the pillars from which they raid the surrounding valleys. These vermin have long outstayed their welcome in these sacred mountains, march against them and drive them from these lands that are rightfully dwarven. Hell yeah, we're going to do that. So let's go ahead, accept the quest, Great, grudge, whatever. And we need to attack this specific, uh, well, place. But, first of all, how do I level this guy up? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I want to... I, of course I'm not kicking him out. Can't merge? We're going to having that. Treasury. Let's take a look at the treasury. Well, our taxes are really low. Alright, fine. So we need to be a little bit more careful. We're trading with Baragvar. That's alright. Mm, these guys down here, I guess. Yep. Details. Uh, alright. Need to be careful not to overexpand. Faction summary. Armies 1, Master Engineers 0, no Runesmiths, no Thanes, no Alliances at war with the Scabii, the Red Fangs, the Greenskins in general, and the Bloody Spears, of course. CH4, oh, fine, okay, good. Nothing really important to do. Number of active grudges. We did that. We need to regain control over there. How do I actually upgrade my lord? I mean, they just said we leveled up. King acts. These are the stances. It's fine. Character detail. Ah, okay. That looks kind of like something. We have no armor. We have no weapon. We have no talismans. All right. We have no enchanted items. No runes and banners. Wow, there's a lot of things, actually. There's a lot of things to get. It's a lord, that's the army upkeep, that's its location. Man, it's pretty, pretty neat. Wow, look at all these skills. That's cool. We got one skill point, but we can't use it from the looks of it. Oh, oh, okay, we can... Oh, we need to start here. Okay, okay. We could go get the Axe of Grimnir. It's a unique quest at rank 8. Quested rank 14. Wow, it's really well done. I, I like that. It seems to uh, you get a lot of options, and this is kind of like a the fantasy slash role playing part, I think. I mean, it's not really role playing, but it, it has some kind of elements of that. So, I mean, the skill tree and stuff. Pretty cool. I like it. Get a better charge bonus, melee defense, more hit points, more weapon strength versus green skins. Okay, foe seeker. That's what we got in the starting tutorial battle, rally, iron wield, wound recovery time, eh? Seems interesting. I mean, it will take a while to move up there, so let's take a look what we can use. Chance of intercepting an army using the underway, plus 6%. Enemy siege holdout time. Reduction in vampiric and chaos corruption. Hmm. Mason construction costs. Yeah, I mean there are there are quite some things that we need to look at. I mean leadership plus three during subterranean intercept battles. Axe Lord. Get more melee defense for warriors and miners. More ammo. I mean three percent more ammo could make the difference. Hmm. I like 10% more movement range. That could prove that could prove very useful. I mean it's not very what? useful in the start, I guess, but intercepting somebody on the f on on the battlefield or not on the campaign map actually could help and 10% Keep scrolling to strategic overview map. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. So we are here. We have some bloody spears over there. Wow, that's a huge map. Ooh, there's gold up there. Alright, alright. Seems like... Oh no, we are here. Legendary Lord. Yeah, I guess going to the east seems like a good plan to do. Timber could also prove valuable. 
Alright, let's zoom in again. Uh, there we go. And you know what? We're going to attack the Greenskins. Or do we get some more troops first? Uh, hmm. No, I guess I guess we attack now. The city has been reached, and your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Study your options, nevertheless. Encircling the enemy and starving them out may be the wisest course of action. All right, we could do that. That's that's interesting. If we, I mean, they have two units here. These are the guys that we just beat on the field, I think. And that's just that seems to be the the, the basic D for the garrison. You know what? Let's try and encircle. I've never used that one, so we let's let's try. I mean, let's let's try that. I don't see why this wouldn't be a good idea. Trying new stuff, right? Anything else that we need? Let's take a look at the diplomacy. Relations with foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy, my lord. Yeah, sure. Consider your situation carefully before accepting any agreement. I mean, we trade with those guys. Scabby and your orcs, from the looks of it. We have um, some humans down there. And the green skins to our east and somewhat west. So let's talk to Zufbar. Kind of liking us, but not really that well. Can we trade? Oh, we cannot trade. Okay. Cannot trade with those guys. We won't trade with those guys. Uh, with the orcs, of course. And we can't go to the southern realms. So there's nothing really what we can do in the diplomacy screen. Well then, let's end the turn, I would say. Don't see anything that we could do. I mean, we could try and recruit a new uh, new army, but I don't know if we really should. There we go. Assistance is available. Should you need it, my lord, you may rely upon it. All right. Thank you very much. As you know all too well, the power of the Dawi has reverberated through these mountains for millennia. Harness that strength, and you will have all you need to restore the Karaz Angkor to its former glory. Um. All right. So we could click here and learn about more about the dwarves. Cool. Uh, ancient race, stout-hearted warriors led by the kings. Uh, dwarf factions maintain a record of grievances. Yeah, I know the book of uh, book of grudges. I heard about that. Dwarven factions may make use of the underway to travel. Okay, okay. So we have kind of like a subterranean, I don't know, underground connection tunnels kind of thing. Good, good. Cannot field mounted units. Yeah, but we have engineering skills. Yeah, I know that. Okay, what's this symbol? Turns before they... Oh, ten turns before they surrender. And they're losing public order. Okay. I mean, we... I, I don't want to wait ten turns to, to take that. I mean, we minimize our losses that way, but really? Do we need that? And why do we lose public order over here? Why is it so bad? The taxes. Yeah, well, of course. No corruption. It's still untainted. Alright. Aren't we still upgrading here? Or is this done? No, it's done. Cool. So we might want to build something that increases our public order. What increases public order? Oh well, a pub, of course. Hmm. Trading depot, gem mine shafts, barley field. I mean, you need a, you need barley, so you, you can't make beer without barley. But all right. Um. I mean, since they're so freaking pissed over here, maybe we need to build a a um, well. Refactory to to make some some beers or ales. Yeah, I think we need to. I mean, look at that. We're losing public order. We are pretty low. Everybody is really grumpy. I mean, we're dwarfs. I guess dwarfs are always kind of grumpy, but still. Yeah, I, I guess that's the only thing that we really could do. Oh, that screen's a little bit better for building. I think. 
Alright. So it's a bottom up, I guess, yeah. Currently building this one. Yeah, fine enough. What's the next thing? We could recruit a lord? Interesting. It's a slayer king. And we can't... I think we can't do that because... We need the Karak Kadren settlement. Okay. That guy's blind. Alright. That doesn't seem like it, someone you want in your army. Hero self-defense, eh? Yeah, well, I don't know if we really need another lord at the moment. We can't recruit a hero. We need a specific building. Alright, alright, I get it. Uh, do we really want to wait 10 turns until we actually take that settlement? Doesn't seem worth it, if you ask me. Ready access. Can we, we? Can we recruit while doing that? No, we can't, okay. You know, I don't want to wait that long, so let's... To be honest, we're so, so far beyond that. I'm thinking we try an auto-resolve here. And we didn't lose anything, so I think that was, that was worth it. That was worth it. Alright, we leveled up again. At last, cool. the defenses have fallen, my lord. The fate of those that remain... Is yours to determine. Okay, so we could occupy. They really hate that. Okay, that's weird. Loot and occupy. They are even... That's even worse, I guess. Why? What's the... Hmm. Plunder, settlement, claim its riches. Or we raise it. I mean, that's the, that doesn't seem like a good idea because we want that building, don't we? I think we're going for Occupy. Bye. It will better our cause. Got another thousand gold for that, so that's good. So observed by this uh, observed with, the, with disdain by Grugni and all his kin, the Bloody Spears maintain an encampment at the pillars. Yeah, that's the same thing that we already read, and we drove them off our lands. Capture and occupy. Done. Your Dowie have been put to work fixing up the captured city, sir. Yet there are many grudges still to settle. Perfidious manlings and bloodthirsty vampires threaten your kind in the north. And your mountain will never be safe while a single green skin draws breath. To war! Yeah, yeah, seems fine. Alright, so we need to loot, raise, or sack three different settlements as the next grudge. Or the next objective, actually. So the Karasin Corps has fallen into decline, assaulted by fell enemies above and below the ground. But no more! Ever peak has stirred. The High King demands that the Dwarf Realm be brought back to its former glory. Let us begin the task in earnest. Okay, let's do that. Let's... Why not? Why not Frank? Helicopter scouts report of a greenskin migration heading northwards. Spies say they intend to meet up and swell the mobs of a dread orc warlord who travels towards the Badlands. Whatever they are up to, they must be stopped. Summon the throng. All right, uh, that seems like a pretty hard quest that we got here. The flow of green skins towards the north must be halted. Make haste for any concentration of gobai spells. Trouble for dwarf kind. Okay, gobai spells. Hm. So if the auction goblins were of a mind to ambush the king's army, however, then the thundering falls would be a good place to do it. Win the following battle, ambush at the Thundering Falls, reward the Dragon Helm. More arm and fire resistance, and we can recruit a hero. Cool. That seems like Your an interesting army has one. Marched all it can, my lord. They must rest. Can we Can we take these guys out over here? I mean they're trying to recruit. I mean Why not? Let's try that. Attack. Oh, we can't. Okay, fine. We need to rest. I guess that's what he said. Hmm. So... The pillars of this thingy over here. Grugni. Can we... What can we build? We could go for some military recruitment. 
Actually, that could that could be a good idea because you know it's a regional thing, if I'm not mistaken, and we built the standard clan barracks over here. So if we go for you know siege workshop or something, uh, having having catapults can really be the difference. I love artillery, so yeah, see. So I guess we need to upgrade this city to level 2, which we can't, because we need a population surplus. Alright, fine. This slot will unlock when you upgrade your main settlement chain. Okay, so let's try and see if we can't do something that will help immediately. A trinket maker. Uh, just more income couldn't wouldn't be too bad now, would it? Hmm. I mean that would immediately help. Or we built the barley field to upgrade stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Let's let's go with that. I mean, we could always um, remove it, I think, and build something else. So why not? Doing that would mean we grow faster. And as soon as we we have grown far enough, we just change it. If we can, and if not, well, doesn't matter. Alright, so that's that's that, I guess. We're replenishing over here. I think we go for recruitment. Uh, I think some more... One more ranged unit, one more melee unit would not be a bad idea. But I don't think we should do it globally. I think we used to local stuff. 2-2-1. Two, two, and... Yep, that's that's basically it. Uh, so if you like what you saw, then please consider pressing the like button. It helps me out a great deal, and I really do hope that I see you in the next episode of Total War Warhammer with... Tor Torgrim? Grudge? Torgrim? Grudge Bearer? As always, thanks for watching, and auf Wiedersehen.